Hey guys, it's Coach Martinez, a PE teacher at Irving ISD. And we are gonna be looking at striking, which means to swing and to make contact, but using a short handled item or implement or piece of equipment. A short handle would be something like a racket or a bat, like a tennis racket. We've been looking at a few different ways to swing and strike, whether it's with our body, with a short handle, or sometimes you use something called a long handle. So we're gonna take a little bit more focus on a short handle. When you're using a racket, whether it's tennis racket or another sport with a racket, you hold the item kind of down towards the bottom, and a racket you're gonna hold in front of you, almost like you're shaking hands with somebody, right? And it's gonna look in front of you, that way you can step forward and bring it back and swing and strike, that's called a forehand, the front of your hand is facing forward, forehand, or you start back at your center feet side by side, you can do a backhand, so you step forward with the same side as your arm, reach across your body and start from the back and swing forward to make contact. So when you're doing um, striking, you always start at the back and swing it forward to hit or make contact, whether it's a racket or a baseball bat or a golf or a hockey. You start at the back part and swing forward to make that contact. Let's look specifically at bats, like a baseball bat or another type of sport with a bat. And I actually just have a noodle here. I don't have an actual um, baseball bat, but you can use any kind of long slender item um, that's kind of short, not like super long like a broom. And that would technically be called a short handle because you hold it with your hand right here at the short part, the end, and then you use the rest of the item to make contact with the ball. So let's talk specifically baseball, even though there's other sports that might use a, a bat. So baseball, softball, if you play sports like t-ball or something like that, these all kind of go in the same of a bat. So when we're swinging and striking, when we're swinging a short handle item, we're right here in this middle region, all right? They have kind of like three different zones, like above your shoulders is like above your head. So things like volleyball where you're pushing the ball up. You have right from your like shoulders to kind of like the top of your pants right there, that's the middle region when we do baseball, we're swinging and striking in that zone. And then from like the top of your pants down to the ground, that's the low level. So like hockey and golf, or you're kicking with soccer like that. So when you have a short handle item, it's holding in your hand, you kind of move quickly. You're swinging and striking in the zone between your shoulders and your um, hips here, like the top of your pants. So when you swing, it's uh, tennis, you're here, and you swing in this zone, or baseball, we'll see in just a second where we're swinging and hitting in this zone, using that middle level. Now, baseball, or um, sports that are just like that, you actually turn to the side, even though you're looking forward at your target, your hips and your body turn to the side. Then, you get your baseball bat up and ready to go. Uh, when you're holding it, you want your hands kind of close together, not too far apart, close. And then you're gonna swing and strike, starting at the back. When the object or item comes, you'll swing from the back to the front, and hopefully making contact with it, as you continue on through what's called a follow through, or just keep going through that motion. Don't just stop right there, keep all the way through that motion, all right? So when you're swinging and striking with baseball, turn to the side, kind of my feet are open, just like this, but sideways, all right? So they're kind of open, bring your baseball bat or the item that you're using to the back, and then move it to the front. Back, and move it to the front, so you can swing and hit. This time, pretend like you're gonna hit something about here, kind of, not at the very tip, but kind of towards the end of um, the bat that you're using. So take it from the back and swing it to the front. Take it from the back and swing it to the front. Good, and you can keep going through that motion, it's called follow through. Swing it to the front and then keep going. Now, there's a lot of skills that go with baseball specifically, but I just want you to work on swinging, striking in this middle region with a short handle item. If you're pr pretending to do like baseball, then you start kind of in the back, swing to the front, or maybe you just have a balloon and you just wanna swing and swat and hit it, kind of uh, using almost like tennis, or you can have a use a real tennis racket or a racket that's similar, and you can practice striking maybe a balloon or a paper ball or some kind of soft object, could even be like a socks rolled up, you can kind of toss it and then swing and strike it. Make sure if you are using um, striking skills that you have an open space that you're allowed to use, that you're using objects that are safe to use based on the environment. So if you're inside of a house or a, a living area, then you don't want to use a real baseball or a real tennis ball because you might end up breaking something. So use something soft like a wadded up piece of paper. Could be um, some like tissue paper or Kleenex or uh, paper towels. 
could be just a rolled up some socks, something like that, so it's soft if it were to bump into something. And then if you have a racket, you can use that, or you can make your own. There's several different options that we have for you, just simply using like a paper plate, and then taping or gluing some kind of stick item on the back. Or, if you're using something like a baseball bat, just find something that's long and slender, maybe some kind of toy that you have, or a short piece of like PCB pipe, which is a white pipe. This is just a noodle. Or maybe you have an actual baseball, that could work out too. So get working on some of those short handled items, swinging and striking in this middle region right here, not above your head, you're not swatting it down like this, or down low like golf or hockey. I want you to swing it in that middle region, whether it's baseball, pew, tennis, you can kind of hit back and forth, or if you're just practicing striking uh, anyway. Have fun, get working and striking, swing and make contact.